Hey guys, welcome back to Sprocket. Today we're going to be building a six-wheeled armored vehicle. I'm not sure what it's going to look like, uh, and hopefully it will be pretty good. So yes, a six-wheeled armored vehicle with a turret on the top. Let's go ahead and start building, and hopefully it'll come out really nice. So initially, I was going to be building this thing that is on the screen right now. This is an AI design that I was going to copy, but designing that in Sprocket turned out to be a little bit annoying. So yes, a six-wheel design is what we are going to go for instead. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and start with a box, as we always do. We're then going to go straight to the tracks and try and get these sorted. So each of the wheels is going to be absolutely massive. So we're going to go with a 1.1 meter wheel. That is actually relatively large, so we're going to go with those. Width of these wheels, we're not going to worry about just yet. However, the spacing is going to be quite large. I want them to be somewhat close together, though. So, I guess something like this actually makes sense. We're then going to go with the idler wheel. It is going to be width, very tiny, diameter very tiny, and located as close to this front wheel as possible. We're then going to do a very similar thing with the sprocket. So, diameter of that, very tiny, and again, located as close as possible without getting rid of the wheels. Okay, from there we're going to do the width of the track, all the way down to zero. And that's looking pretty good. Yeah, so far, so good. Also, I do want to say we need to lower the sprocket mount size and also the idler mount size. Otherwise, that'll give away that they're there. All right, cool. Get rid of one of the uh, return rollers, and that's it. All right, cool. Road wheels, actually, go ahead and make those uh, only one and then make them really wide. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and make them look like actual wheels. Sick. Okay, so I actually decided to make them slightly wider apart, and to me, that looks pretty good. So from there, what do we need to do? Well, what I'm going to do is go to Mobility, go to Config, adjust them so they are mounted all the way out to the side, and then we go back to Layout. Separation is going to come all the way in, so that it looks like we've just got wheels. Sick. All right, so from there, we're going to try and figure everything out. We're going to make this the same size as this wheel, essentially. Yes. We're going to give it a little bit of room. But uh, essentially, we're just going to go and extend this guy this way, all the way to the next wheel, which is around here. And we're going to do the same right here. So extend this backwards pretty much to this wheel. That's cool. From there, we can obviously extend them out to the sides. So let's do that. Here we go. Uh, shoot them past the wheels, essentially. And that's OK. All right, good. So grab each of these. There we go. Lower them down so they are this height. Very good. And what I'm going to do from there is actually grab this guy and this guy and do this. This one and this one and do this. And then I need to do the same on the rear wheels. So just like that, pretty much. And this one right here like this. Okay, that to me looks pretty good. I think this one is slightly too far forward. But if we grab each of these and push it backwards a little bit. Yes! We got a little bit of spacing right there, and that all seems fine. They are slightly different sizes though, which is a bit of an issue. But if we did this, for example, and then we grabbed this guy and this guy and did this, I think we're good. Yeah, I like it. All right, so I'm actually really happy with the way that is currently looking. Let's go ahead and grab every one of these. There we go. We're gonna extend that by one, and I am actually gonna chuck this guy out to the side like this, because I feel like we should. There you go, so it's got a little bit of a cover. Very nice. From there, we're going to grab each of these. I'm going to extend it upwards, just like so. And I am going to angle it inwards a little bit as well. So if we can go to this guy and do this, that is awesome. Yeah, I don't mind that. I'm going to try and keep it as squat as possible, which uh, hopefully we're doing. And that's it. Nice. All right, so trying to move this forwards, we're obviously going to have to do this kind of dealio. I'm going to shoot it all the way forwards like that. Uh, obviously, the guy on the bottom has been angled a bit weirdly, so we're going to have to try and sort that out, just like that. And then we can work on it from there. At least I hope so, anyway. So grab each of these. There we go. Shoot it forwards just a little bit more. There we go. And I think what I can do is grab this guy and this guy and do something along the lines of this. And then this guy and this guy, and do something along the lines of this. Although we are going to continue that. Like so. Oh yeah! Alright, nice. That's not too shabby. Might actually move this guy a little bit further backwards too. And have it somewhat rounded on the front. 
That is looking pretty cool on the front of this thing. I like it. All right, cool. So from there, we're going to drag this guy backwards, obviously. And then we need something right here. I don't know what it is that we need, but something is is correct. <laughs> so let's go and extend this guy down just a little bit. There we go. Quite far. We can then grab each of the pieces, including these guys, and do this. And that should look quite nice, I think. There we go. Although I am thinking maybe these pieces shouldn't come backwards all this far. Because it does look a bit weird. But if we did something along the lines of that, maybe that looks better. Who knows? Alright, we do have to do it on both sides. Sometimes this game doesn't mirror quite right. Alright, so I have gone ahead and uh, mirrored it, essentially. We're then going to grab this guy and this guy, this one and this one. And we're going to try and shove those back to around there. That's looking pretty nice to me. I'm then going to delete this one. And I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to merge all of these together. So that one, that one, and that one. Merge. This one, this one, and this one. Merge. And do the same thing over here. There we go. And I think that's correct. There we go. Nice. All right, so obviously now we need to work on the back sides. Let's grab each of these. There we go. We are going to have to extend it and shoot it over the back wheel again. Here we go. Make it default. And we also have to hide all of that stuff. So essentially, it's just like that. Might even just leave it like that, which is kind of weird. I'm also thinking maybe making the wheels slightly smaller might be a good idea. So instead of 1.1 meters, maybe one meter makes more sense. Not sure. Don't know. Right, anyway, if we do do that, we're going to have to angle this backwards a little bit. And I'm going to have to try and fit all of the wheels into there even better than we currently have. Which, at the minute, might be a really difficult thing to do. Grab each of these, there we go. Alright, including the one on that side, there we go. And I guess I'm going to have to do the back sides of things too. Oh yeah, this might be a challenge. Might be a huge challenge. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's see what this does. No idea what it'll do. Bosh. Oh. Okay, not particularly good here, but we'll see. Alright, do it again. Alright, we need to grab like this piece as well. And this piece. And that one. There we go. Alright, good. Slowly but surely. Alright, move it backwards again. We don't have to go too far. I just need it to be the same as the rest of it. That looks alright. However, the idler wheel is now showing. So I should probably be able to hide that just by doing this. And there we go. Yeah, you know, I don't mind that. That's kind of cool. All right, so at the back, we're going to go ahead and drop something down here as well, if possible. So extend this. There we go. Drop it down. Yes, hopefully this is working on both sides. Of course it's not. Why would it be? There we go. Drag it down. And then we're going to have to go to this guy and this one. There we go. And the same on this side. This one and this one. Drag them backwards. Yeah. Although that's not quite right, but it's fine. So grab this one and this one, shoot it upwards, just like this. There we go, and then we're going to extend it, drop it down a little bit, drag it together, just like this, and that seems pretty good, yeah. Alright, so I do want to hide the tracks a little bit more if possible, so we're going to go to faces, I'm going to grab every single one of these faces on the bottom, not these guys, obviously, you know, extend that down even further, just like this. And I am going to be moving this one and this one backwards. Hopefully, just like so. That doesn't look too bad. And of course, these ones forwards like that. Don't mind how far back or how far forwards that one goes. But yeah, I think that looks a hell of a lot better than it did. Sick. Alright, so with it being a World War II type vehicle, we are going to go with a circular-ish turret. Not entirely sure what it's going to look like or where it's going to go, but I think probably towards the front of this. But before we do that, let's go to crew, viewports, actually commander's couplers. We're going to go with one of these, and I am going to have the driver be... I was going to say in the center, but actually, maybe the driver should go off to the side. Just like that. There we go. Driver's going to be on the side. We'll shove this guy into there like this. And there you go. So it should move now. Ha <laughs> ha! Lovely. All right, from there, what else do we need to do? Well, I'm going to go to viewports, and I'm going to shove one of these here. One of those, like, there-ish, I guess. I don't I don't really know where to put these. And another one, like, here. 
Though, again, I don't really know where to put it, but like, around there seems good. If I drop it backwards slightly, I think that's fine. It looks a little bit strange, but maybe not too bad. You know what, actually, the more I think about it, the less I actually want it to look like it does, <laughs> which is really annoying. But yeah, I'm thinking I go to each of these, uh, including maybe this panel right here, and we extend this upwards, just like so. And because it's a World War II-ish vehicle, it doesn't have to have the angles that maybe a normal one, like a, a, a modern one, would have. But I'm thinking we angle it slightly like this. We then get rid of this one and this one. And we just angle it backwards like that. And that looks World War II-y to me. I think so, anyway. Alright, I'm going to angle it upwards a little bit more. By doing this. Boop. And... Actually, maybe we need that bit too. Here we go. Yes. Angle it upwards. I think that's fine. And then the turret's going to go at the back somewhere. Okay, so I've extended this all the way backwards like so. Yes. That seems a little bit strange, but don't worry about it too much. I'm going to extend it again. Drag that bit backwards as well, just a little bit. And I am going to do this. Okay, sick. So far, so good. We'll then grab each of these. There we go. And I am going to do this. There we go. So the cannon will go on top of here, the engine stuff's going to go back there, and that's going to be it for us, I think. If I can move these forwards a bit, that'd be great. Yeah, I want to go to... even there is fine. It looks so weird, doesn't it? But yeah, let me go ahead and add a bunch of detail to this, try and make it look nice, and we'll go from there. Okay, so this is where we are at. I've added engine vents, engine exhausts, we've also added a bunch of stowages all around this thing, a way to get in on the back, and we've also added some stuff on the front as well. Uh, the only thing I would say about this is there is no current way in or out. There's no hatches. So I need to come up with a way of adding one of those, but first, we're actually going to go ahead and add the turret. So let's do a rounded turret on the top, slap it on here, and then go to war, I think. Oh, we're gonna have to add a livery as well, but that's fine. Alright, so let's go ahead and select all of this to begin with. We're gonna squidge it really small that way, we're gonna squidge it really small this way. Let's go ahead and make the diameter of this a lot bigger, there we go. And I am actually gonna add armor thickness and some height to it as well. I know I generally don't add any sort of turret rings, but we're gonna do on this one. Uh, so, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and shrink it this way just a tad. There we go. And I'm going to build it into a circle, because that's kind of how this works. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Rounded turret is on the top. Let's go ahead and, I guess, give it, like, yeah, rounded edges. There we go. I'm actually going to go ahead and select all of this, and I'm going to make it slightly wider. Yes, and slightly longer as well. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to actually make the turret ring a little bit shorter and also a tiny bit smaller as well. And then we are going to move everything down onto it. There we go. And that's fine by me. It still looks a little bit too big. Uh, but we can probably sort that out, maybe. So grab each of these. There we go. Shoot it down just a little bit. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and give it a bit of a shaping right here as well. I'm actually going to go ahead and drag this up quite far. That's fine. We're going to go to this one, drag that up as well, just a little bit. And then I think we'll leave this one flat. We then need, obviously, a mantlet to go on there. I like the idea of using something along the lines of this, but I don't know. I feel like it's not quite right. <laughs> I don't know how to explain why, but yes, let's go ahead and push this back into there. And then it looks a lot better, actually. It looks a bit big, though. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. There we go, shove it on the front. Shove it backwards into there, so it can still aim up and down. And then, I think the gun itself just is a little bit too big. So we're gonna make that a 57 millimeter gun. Yeah, that looks like it fits, actually. Okay, so gunner's sight is gonna go on the turret as well. I'm gonna drop that off to the side, just like this. And we should be able to see. Indeed we can, very good. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and add a bunch of detail to this. And hopefully, it'll look nice. Alright, so I didn't go, like, too overboard with this. I literally just added a commander's cupola. We've added some ladders around the outside, which are sideways, and some rivets as well. That is essentially where we are going to keep it. So this is like a World War II APC. It looks kind of ugly. Um, but I feel like sometimes in World War II, <laughs> things did look ugly. So there you go. Anyway, what we're going to do now is go to firepower, and I'm going to try and work on this gun. 
to make it somewhat useful, all right? Because we don't want a, a useless gun on it. Let's go with 700, actually 800 millimeters of propellant length. Quite big rounds, to be fair. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and make this like, oh, you know what? Actually, 0.2. All right, that's really small. Make this ginormous. There we go. Because I think this will make the mantlet look a little bit nicer. Maybe 0.35 instead. Yeah, there we go. And then this one will be like one. Actually, 0.25. Why didn't that go in there? Why isn't that working? 0.25. Hey, there we go. And that could be like, whew, I don't know, a lot bigger than that. Let's go with 55. Yeah, sure. And 55. Excellent. And then the rest of it is going to be like 15 and 15. And that's going to be the rest of the barrel. And this one is going to be recoiled. So that's kind of cool. I don't know. I think I think that looks pretty good. Two meters on that one. That's quite a long barrel. 1.5 meters. Let's go with that. There we go. And the penetration on this gun is 155 millimeters. Not too shabby. Basket space. Let's go and increase this. And then we are going to have to increase engine size and give this thing some armor. All right, so let's go with this. There we go. And scale it up quite a lot. Roughness a little bit and metallicness. Yeah, sure. We'll just go with full metallic. Very good. Condition a little bit better than that. Grime just a little bit. Brightness and saturation up a little bit as well. That isn't looking too terrible. Uh, once we've done that, we can actually add something like maybe not that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what what logos to add to this. Th Swedish. It's going to be Swedish. <laughs> Randomly. Uh, yeah. No. I don't know. Nah, maybe not. Maybe not Swedish. Let's make it... Po uh, not Polish. Not Polish. Polish? Maybe. I mean, this is the Polish Air Force, apparently. This is what their logo is. Don't know why it's in the game as, as this, but there you go. Right, so let's go ahead and make this kind of tiny up there. All right, very good. We're going to add a Polish thingamabobby on the front. And on the back, we'll have two. Is that weird? That might be a little bit weird. But there you go. This is our tank design, I guess. And um, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. Let's go ahead and get it into an actual battle and see how it does. All right, we have five tanks and the enemy has 14. This is going to be a big test for this tank. And I'm not so sure it's going to work out. Well, we'll see. We will see. So we'll get ourselves into a nice position. We are quite tall. That is the only issue here. Uh, I say that's the only issue. There's plenty more issues than that, but still. <laughs> Let's get ourselves into a position where we can shoot the enemies, and hopefully they can't shoot the less armored parts of us. That's the whole plan anyway. So we're just driving in. Usually there's enemies come over this hill. Obviously there is so many of them that... They should be around here soon. Oh, we one-shot that guy. Our reload time is actually very minimal. That guy just died in one shot too. Uh-oh. I don't think that guy died. Now he's dead. All right, excellent. Let's make sure we shoot that one. He's dead as well. They're all dying in literally one shot. This is insane. Oh, is that guy alive? He is. That guy is actually alive. Shoot him again. Uh-oh. He's still alive. Shoot him again. He's still alive! Shoot him again! How? Is he alive? I don't know if he is alive. I'm gonna continue in. Alright, we're going round. There is an enemy over there that I can see that is moving. Let's shoot him! There we go. All of these H2s are dying in one shot. That guy is apparently alive. He's still alive. I just shot him. The thing is, it's going straight through. It's like going straight through their armor and just destroying them straight away. So although it looks like I'm doing no damage, I mean, I guess we are, but we are going straight through their armor. It's crazy. All right, is this guy alive back here? Nope. Is that guy alive? Probably. Nope, he's not alive either. Okay. Where's the rest of the enemy? Oh, him. Is he alive? I don't know. Oh, someone else is shooting at me. Not him. Oh, he's behind this tree. I can see you now. He's dead. Excellent. There's only one enemy remaining, and I'm assuming he's hiding over... Oh, I see him. He's hiding just here. Da 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 da. And he's dead! Beautiful! So our Polish six-wheeled APC that is kind of ugly actually works quite well. That's awesome. 
So yeah, what do you guys think of it? Do you think it's really ugly? Do you think it suits the time that it is built, you know, World War II? Or do you think that I should have maybe done something else? I like the idea of doing a four-wheeled design next that is a little bit more squidged and a little bit more refined, because clearly this isn't that refined, um, and doing something like that. I think that's a pretty good idea. But for now, this is our Polish APC tank thingy-ma-bobby six-wheel. It's cool. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.